lot of you requested a cherry blossom print, so I decided to give it a go, and in this video, I'll show you how to paint a cherry blossom branch. I chose to make this with a watercolor look, just because I think it works well with the Japanese cherry blossom design. But of course, you can make this with any medium of your choice. To start, I'm using water-soluble oil paint. These are kind of my go-to paints because they blend like oils, but they mix with water. I'm only using two colors, red and black. Then I need a cup of water, a paper towel, a small brush for detail, and a little larger of a brush for the rest. I'm painting on watercolor paper, which I recently bound into this book. If you also want to make a book like this, check out this single sheet binding tutorial here, or you can find the link in the description below. I'm just drawing a rough sketch of the branch so I have an idea of where things will go before I paint it. Starting with the red, make a watery light pink color. Then paint a flower with five petals. While the paint is still wet, mix some darker red and blot it in the middle of the flower and let the watery red expand in the middle of the flower. Repeat this on a couple more flowers, letting the red expand in the middle. You can also try painting a flower that's facing sideways just to add a little dimension to the branch, keeping in mind that the middle of the flower will always have the most red. I painted a few flowers first just so it looks like there are some flowers on top of the branch, giving it even more dimension. Now using the black paint and finer brush, I'm going to paint the branch starting thick, and toward the flowers, the branch gets thinner. When I get toward the ends of the twigs, I'm going to make a little base for the buds, which I'm going to paint on next. Now back to the red paint and the other brush, I'm filling in the buds and painting on the rest of the flowers on the branch. At this point, you can go back and add a little more red to the base of the flowers just to make it more vibrant. For the finishing touch, mix some red and black with the finer brush and dot on the pollen in the center of the cherry blossoms. And there it is, a cherry blossom print inspired by Japanese cherry blossom trees with a watercolor technique. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and if you did and you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you need some more ideas on print patterns you can apply to your next project, check out this playlist here. There's a lot of inspiration in there. For more DIY projects, be sure to subscribe and check out my channel, Sea Lemon. If you're ready to jump into another project, you might like to try one of these print patterns here. If you get the chance, I'd love it if you follow me on my social links so we can connect there and share project pictures and I can answer any of your questions. And you can also feel free to request other print pattern tutorials in the comments below. I'll see you guys next week in another tutorial.